Uh, now, when she first joined Corrie in 2004 to play the youngest of the Webster clan, Brooke Vincent was only 11 years old, oh. bless her. <laughs> yeah, uh, since then, her character's been involved in plenty of drama, uh, coming out at 16 to being ditched at the altar. Well, OK, we're going to have a little chat in just a moment, but first, hear your best bits. <laughs> <laughs> Sophie, what are you doing? Give us some money. What's it like? Sure, yeah. No, you're all right. Sophie, baby, are you going crazy? Why? Wow, you're so strong. So far. Oh! I've become a Christian. That's right. Take a good look at the lesbian. Sophie, baby, are you Sophie, you have to go through with this if you don't want it. There's a lot oh, packed into oh, our very yes, young life. Very eventful. Yeah. <laughs> the big storylines there. Yeah. When you look back at it, it as yeah, it's gone. Um, it's gone so quick though. I don't feel like I've been there as long as I have, and I don't feel as old as I'm now yeah. my character is. But you're, is, not, so. you're not as old because you're 23, she's only 21. Well, yeah. Well. You know, what does that feel like? <laughs> um, I feel like I'm celebrating it over again. <laughs> People keep saying, keep tweeting me saying happy birthday and thinking it was two years ago, but I'm, I'm taking any presents and cards that people are willing to give. So it's really nice for us because we feel like we've watched you grow up. Oh. You know, you're there working, but for us yeah. it's like watching this, this young girl grow into a woman with all the things in between and now she's 21. Look at you, look at your hair. That's ridiculous. That's your first. Do you know what, my mum will kill me because I've recently cut my hair and that's the only time I ever had short hair. She said, you look like Sophie Webster because I've cut it. But looking at that, I actually do look a bit like her there. Well, everybody looks so young so there as well. Small. Look at them all. And when you started out, I mean, obviously a lot of the characters have been in Coronation Street for many years. When you started out and you're a young actress, did you ever think, I'd like this to go on, or did you just <laughs> were you just happy to be there for any amount of time? My mum always, my mum's really good with me. She always, she always let me know that you know I could go as quickly as I came, and that that was always in my mind. So, if I was naughty at school, she used to kind of threaten me with work, particularly one person at work, and she'd say, "I'll go and tell Alison. I'll go and tell her," and I'd be like, "No." Um, so I kind of always just. Took every day as it came, really. And, and how did that work with school? I think a lot of people are interested. You know, you see yeah, the young so actors. You go, do you have your, your lessons there? Did you go to school? Well, did, did we that... had tutoring. Yeah. So we had, if I was in work, I'd have tutoring in work. And if I wasn't in work, I'd just go to normal school. But um, I think my teachers preferred it when I was doing tutoring at Corrie and not in normal school. Yeah. But was it hard to be in normal school? Because then did you get any resentment? People saying, oh, she thinks she's it now. Or no, did you, not Could really. you slip back in easily? Yeah, I think so. I didn't. No, my, to be fair, I, I had a lot of friends. I'm still in touch with a lot of my school friends now. Um, they are watching, so I said I'd say a lot. <laughs> but um, no, it's it's it was just normal. It was I was just one of the normal girls, and my mum never let me get anything different than anybody else. Like if, if new boots come out, I wasn't allowed them, and mm. you know, like my friends wasn't allowed them. And that's when I did my Saturday job, and and I saved my money like that to buy things that I wanted to buy, like everybody else had to. Yes, but your so. daddy is different. I mean, your daddy in Coronation Street's different. Yeah. Um, Kevin, from the point of view that he's decided to let you come into the business, yeah, mm -hmm. and, you, and you get twenty-one. It was quite an exact figure. It was like yeah. twenty-one yeah. point. Something. Yeah, Twenty-one percent for being oh, was twenty-one. It 21? Oh right, yeah. I thought it was point five or something. After. But anyway, <laughs> see, I think this is going to be a whole different Sophie we're going to see. So here's here's the birthday present um, from Kevin. You still have an open mic card. Oh yeah, sorry. Do -do -do. Why does it say twenty-one percent? Because that's what I'm giving you. Twenty-one percent. Dad. Of the new business, you know, might as well keep it in the family. Dad! <laughs> Any news on our expansion plans? No, not yet. I am working on it, though. I'm due to speak to the planning officer in a bit. I thought you'd want the day off. Uh, Dad, we've got an empire to build. Oh, you see, you, Ruth and I were just saying, there's a different, different look, look there, there's a sophistication, come with being 21. Yeah. You're a, we can see that Sophie's going to be different from here on in. Can you see that? Yeah, definitely. We, um, well, when I knew that I was going to get some of the business, because 
I don't have a going to work outfit because as obviously I can roll in, roll in and they dress me and they put my makeup on so I could go in anything. So I wanted Sophie, even though she works in the garage, to look like Carla Connor. I wanted her to dress like Carla oh. Connor. So me and Alex from Costume, we went shopping and I was so excited because I could buy a work wardrobe that I've never been able to buy before. So yeah, you can see little changes in her and like obviously my hair, it took me two years to be able to get it cut yeah. and it's little things like that see, that just keep getting introduced. I know from talking to you, I know it's a frustration because everybody talks about the one thing and that is Sophie's love life and all that sort of thing all the time. <coughs> but is this now maybe a chance to see her in a different way that we're not just talking about Hello. who she's with. Yeah, hopefully. You know, it's a chance, like you just said, to, to see a different part of her and um, hopefully she gets her business head on and she, and she does um, more worky things and more relationship kind of storyline. So I'm, I'm excited. I love, I love playing her. So it don't really bother me what and I'm Why are you doing. leaving? Yeah, we're here, we're exclusive. Well, she's leaving. I'm she's leaving the street. I'm having a break. Um, do you know what? I wasn't really that fussed. They, I got approached to do a play and I kind of said, yeah, um, let's see what works because I really didn't think they'd let me do it. And they did and now everyone's saying, oh, well, we'll have to come and watch. I'm thinking, oh, don't come and watch. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to tell everyone the wrong day. <laughs> so how long will you be off screen for, for so us? So I, I start it next September till the end of October, so just eight weeks. Oh, so, so then I go back. Yeah. So yeah. it's exciting. She could just Look, be away at a conference yeah. or something. She's now a big businesswoman. Yeah, she'll be with Rosie in her new coat. <laughs> yeah.